Hey guys, Jason Creels, Life Care Life, and we're at the GIE Plus Expo, and I'm at the Xmark booth, and Lenny is here, and he's showing me some of the 2022 equipment. So we're checking out the lawnmowers, of course, the one that, that most people are most familiar with, the Laser Z. So let's get started. Uh, talk with Lenny about the new equipment. Lenny, um, we have uh, got some pretty cool stuff here at the trade show as always, and y'all have got y'all's newest equipment. So what I want you to do is just uh, uh, just show us around, but give us a quick overview of the machine, and then um, and then we'll talk about more specifics. You bet. So what we've got here is our 2022 Laser Z uh, X series. So 60 inch deck. Um, we've got it outfitted with. Uh, the uh, optional Tractus tires, the no-flat uh, uh, tires that we offer. And then this machine is also uh, introducing um, Briggs EFI Vanguard with the oil guard system uh, as the power for it. Let me take a quick tour around and then we'll get into the specifics. So you got the, you got the no-flat uh, tires, you got the cool seat, but like I said, when I walked up and noticed the engine, um, that was obviously different. So let, let's start with the obvious uh, thing, Lenny, and that's the, the difference, uh, the, the different engine that y'all are putting on it. So what's the, I mean, I, somebody like me doesn't know, <laughs> I just know it looks different, but can you explain in more detail, like, what's the advantage of this over, like, the traditional engines we've seen in the past? You bet, Jason. So uh, with the oil guard system, well, first, uh, we've got uh, Vanguard, uh, 37 horsepower, EFI. So all the torque, all the power, but yet still good uh, fuel economy with, uh, with the EFI. And then it's also coupled with their patented oil guard system. So the engine itself doesn't have an oil sump like your standard engine does. It's actually got two roller motors down there, pumps that pull oil from this big reservoir through the engine and then scavenge it back through this filter that's right inside this cap back into the reservoir. What's really cool about this is number one, it takes your service interval, oil and filter, you just do every 500 hours. So as opposed to 100 hours with, uh, with the standard uh, machine. It can save you up to 60% in your service and maintenance cost of your engine. But along with that, this gives so much durability and reliability um, to the engine. So you have a big reservoir, a ton of oil going through, it doesn't sit in the sump, doesn't suffer from cylinder wash and everything, so the oil stays cleaner, cooler, keeps its viscosity better. So that lubricates the engine, engine runs cooler, that also helps the oil uh, maintain itself. So it just kind of feeds upon itself to give us uh, a great durable, reliable engine for hours and hours into the use of this machine. So we're thinking that the the, by design, this engine should last longer because of the, the way the oil is cycling through it. Is that right? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know, and not only that, so uh, it's also, you know, for you guys out there that uh, have, um, have guys working for you, it's a huge safety net. So guys don't check the oil on your standard machine. Yeah. You happen to lose a little bit of oil, yeah. you can get in trouble in a hurry. I've done that before. Here, literally, <laughs> you, could, you could lose four quarts of oil, and now you're where a standard engine is at that point. 37 horsepower that, that that caught me a little bit off guard because I'm used to like numbers in the 20s on a 60 inch bar. so I mean is it I, I don't know how, how does it how does it have so much more horsepower and does that mean that it's cutting better or what, what's the deal with why does it like seemingly 50 percent more horsepower than some of the other ones you I've heard you bet so uh, you know the old saying there's no replacement for displacement right so that's where it gets all the power um, it's a large displacement engine uh, 993 cc engine uh, coupled with that EFI gives it you know not only the power but the response and really what that's for is you know, we've all been in issues, uh, especially this last year, you know, hey, you get behind, you're trying to catch up, you're doing more than, you know, you would typically be doing, and it just gives you that power to, to channel through even those, you know, crazy tough conditions that you may run into. And then along with that, the more horsepower that you have, you're not working the engine as hard. So again, that kind of adds to the durability and reliability of it as well. All right, I'm gonna ask you a beginner question here because I don't know the answer, but what what is EFI? So EFI is electronic fuel injection. Okay. So instead of having a carburetor oh, and a float that feeds the that feeds fuel to the engine, 
um, it's watching the timing of the engine and it shoots at uh, the correct amount of fuel that it needs to operate in the most efficient manner. Okay, and so these tires obviously, I've seen them before, so it's not something that came out this year. But like, what's the advantage of them other than they just, they don't go flat? Is that the, the main thing or is there other things that make them cool? You bet. I mean, that's the obvious thing, right? Yeah. No flats. Yeah. But along with that, you have a nice flat tire to this surface, so you actually have more ground contact. So it actually gives um, significantly better traction okay. and, uh, and stability. Uh, along with that, another big thing that we've seen from guys in the field is uh, added life. So um, literally this uh, tire assembly is gonna last three to five times, at least I'll say, three to five yeah. times longer than a pneumatic tire. Um, we've got a guy that has uh, an old prototype, and I think he had about 1,500 hours on the tire, and it still had over half the tread uh, left on the tire. Wow. So uh, the wear on this thing is remarkable. Now is this, is that engine, is that uh, an upgrade on these, more, like you're still using some of the old other engines, and, or how, is As, there options? You bet, it's, it's an additional engine that we offer. So we offer with this engine in the X-Series, either a 60 or 72. Um, we still have uh, Kohler offerings and obviously Kawasaki offerings that we offer, uh, that we have in this model as well. Again, it's the 60 inch X-Series Laser Z, obviously the one that uh, you probably see riding around on the back of a lot of trailers. Uh, the the X-Mark Laser Z is the, the popular one, but it's not the only one they have because if you can't help but notice, a uh, one that kind of catches your eye, and that is a 144 inch X Mark Batwing mower. Um, so, we're going to talk about this one, and uh, maybe not for just your average homeowner, but I'm sure there's application. But who cares? It's cool, and we want to hear about it. So, uh, Lenny, tell us about the idea behind because uh, y'all, again, y'all had like a 96 before, right? Is this, right. is this. Is this the, the next one from a 96? You bet, it's the, it's the evolution. So even as we were building the 96, we always had something a little bit bigger in mind. And uh, so this is, the, uh, this is the result of all of that, uh, that work. So what you have is you have a 48 inch center deck, and then you have two 48 inch wings that uh, accumulate to 12 foot, 144 inch. So the wings, one of the one of the cool things about the 96 and the and the 144 is since the wings flex uh, through the cut, scalping in that is really reduced, even compared to maybe even a 60 inch mower. So it really handles terrain very well. So this would be like, is it like sports turf or, or like municipalities or who, who's? Who's in the market? When y'all built this, who, who are y'all thinking of? You bet. So obviously municipalities, parks and recs, school districts, um, uh, you know, guys with, uh, that uh, landscapers that mow large campuses, um, uh, universities, um, all those types of things. But uh, obviously, if, uh, if somebody wants one for their acre, two, three, four acres, we'd be happy to set them yeah. up with them. So some, when the bat wing, the, the, what you, is that what you call it, bat wing? The, or the flex wing. Flex wing. wings, okay, when they fold up, how, how wide of a trailer are you looking at? So actually you got, we've got steel right across the street here with an enclosed trailer. It'll fit inside a standard oh, landscape wow. enclosed trailer. Oh wow, yeah. that's pretty cool because it, it, uh, transportation is, when you see something like this, so uh, what else? Uh, trying to think what what kind of engine powers a machine this big and what's different about it so I'm sure some of the technology carries over from other machines you have but uh, you know what what's different about this machine than your other machines you bet so what it's powered by is a 43 and a half horse Yanmar diesel engine turbocharged um, and then that goes through uh, a transmission to a, a wheel motor and gearbox assembly that gives us a two-speed setting uh, for the drive of this machine. So we've got a low speed, which is zero to 10 mile an hour, is great for handling terrain and maneuvering. I always say it's like a ZTR with power steering. It, okay. It's that smooth. And then, you know, we were talking about trailering. Well, we've got that high speed up to 17 mile an hour so if you're in an area and you just need to transport it maybe across an HOA or from uh, one part of the university to the next or something like that, you don't need to worry about loading it on a trailer. 17 mile an hour, you can just zip right over to the other part. 
All right, so what kind of uh, production are you looking to get out of this? A, a, a 144 inch cut if, in an hour, how many, you know, or how long you know, does it take to cut an acre, whatever, how y'all rate it? You bet, so what we always look at is we say 80% efficiency, right, is what you get. So an 80% efficiency with a, a 144 inch, that's about 11 to 11 and a half acres an hour is, uh, is what you're looking at. And that's one of the things that we've seen with the 96 and the 144, uh, these flex wing machines, they're so maneuverable that you end up getting better efficiency than you do with a traditional yeah. CTR. Would a golf course use something like this, or do you, or you think they would still uh, use like their real mowers? They tip, yeah, they're gonna stick with their real yeah. mowers, you know, for the most part. You might have like a small par three or something that might, yeah. you know, might use this. Um, but uh, yeah, it's really, Parks and Rec, you know, Munis, school districts, those guys are who we're really focusing on. I appreciate Lenny, Lenny giving us the tour here. We're going to move on to some of the other equipment they got, but uh, so far so good on the new XMark 2022 equipment.